Hi everybody, welcome back to uh, Makeup of the Day. I just finished doing my face, getting ready to do some videos, so I thought I'd get with you. I'm going to make this kind of a tradition of doing this. Now, the one thing is, would you rather me do a get ready with me, like uh, putting my makeup on, or would you rather me just telling you what I've got on my face? Because to me, this is much easier because I don't have to worry about the camera angle, etc. Um, when I'm putting on my makeup. So just let me know uh, what your thoughts on that are. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I did was put on some Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. I got this in one of my beauty boxes. And it is actually a tinted... Uh, let me shut that off and move it. A tinted um, primer. I can't read a ton with my glasses. It says, um, Even Skin Tone Face Primer adds a youthful glow and it's hydrating. So that's what I used for my primer. First of all, I washed my face and put on my um, uh, moisturizer, first of all. And then I used my primer. And then I used my Better Skin that is brand new. I just got that last week, and it is Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation uh, Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen Broad Spectrum 15, I believe that says, with a silic C and oil-free. And it is in number 15 Ivory. And I don't know, um, I think this matches me pretty good. Um, I don't have much problem with it. You have to be very careful because a little goes a long way with this. I used too much foundation today. <laughs> and so it got a little smeary. But um, I'll learn. This is um, just one that you have to be careful with. Don't use as much as you do some other ones. So, anyway, it was the Better Skin Foundation that I used. Then I used also used the Better Skin uh, Superstay um, Concealer. And that is in Light, number 20. Let's see if you can read that. See if it'll. Come on, camera. I guess it's not going to. Maybe it will now that I covered that part up. There we go. There we go. Now, if I can get this right. <laughs> All right, all right, anyway, um, there's my concealer. Then for my eyes, I used um, the Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer from Too Faced. Next, I did my brows, and I used the NYX um, Mascara, Brow Mascara, in Brunette this time. And I like it. I just think they should make smaller um, spoolies. See, this spoolie is just too long. I think they should cut that down by about a third at least. And it would be easier because you kind of have to go like this. You can't go like this because it's too wide. So you have to go like this and, and work it. But um, I do like this color a lot. As you guys know, you know, if, if my... Um, inconsistencies in my eyebrows my eyebrows don't look the same because I lost most of my eyebrow over here so you kind of have to live with what I got you know I'm I can't draw them in very well so anyway that's the way it goes next I used my makeup revolution and this is their um, redemption eyeshadow palette essential mattes and it is a kind of a bitch to open. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? Anyway, I used this color here 
for my base, the this one for my base. Then I went and I used purples today. I used the light one for my um, eyelid, and then I went with the dark one um, for transition and crease color. And, of course, I had to have that gold pop of color. So this today I used the Pop Goes the Shadow um, that I got in another box, and that's what that looks like. It's not quite as shimmy, shimmery as my other one, but I'll show you what it looks like, what my eyes look like. I think they turned out rather well. Um, I didn't go crazy with the colors, but I did use a violet instead of my usual browns that I go with. Next, I used Mega Protein Mascara by Wet n Wild. And um, for those of you that have never used this, it's very wet. Very wet. And I don't care for that in my mascaras. Um, this one here probably won't last me long because I have so many mascaras that I'm going through that um, ones that I'm just not crazy about, I don't see the point of even keeping. So I don't know yet um, if I will or not. But it is a very wet mascara. Oh, by the way, I did do um, my bottom lash with my that deeper violet um, halfway too, instead of using um, my coal or anything. And next, I used the Sexy Booster Ooh La La Sexy Eyes um, on my top lid. It's just a gel-like crayon. And... It was really dark, so I went over it again with eyeshadow, <laughs> so it's not quite so dark. Okay, for blush, I used my new Stila um, Cream Blush in Petunia. That's what that looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. I also wanted to show you my brushes that I used. Um, of course, on my brows... My brushes are very dirty. I'm going to wash them after this. So um, It's also got a cat hair in it. That's my spoolie that I always use for my eyebrows. For my eyes, I use the Carity Cosmetics um, flat brush for packing on my shadow. And then for blending, I use the Belange blending brush. Like I said, they're very dirty. Don't mind them. Um, for my blush, I used the Belange, um, I guess this is a blush brush, but it's the Kabuki style. So, you know, it's good for, I think it's really good for, um, for these kinds of blushes, these cream blushes. Um, and this, you have to be careful with it so you don't get too dark, but um, and I used a really gentle hand today, so it doesn't look too bad. Okay, the next thing I used was my Cindy Luminizer that I absolutely love for a highlight. That's what that looks like. And um, I watched a Wayne Goss um, video today. I watched several of his today that... Um, talked about the halo effect on doing your blush or your highlighter. This is my highlighting brush that I used. It's also a blanche. Um, I got these free to review probably six months ago, and I really like them for this kind of stuff. Um, this is the Kabuki type brush. But um, instead of going just over the top, then you just kind of just over your blush and everything, you know, over your top and then over your blush. And it's kind of what they call a halo effect, so it it doesn't look like you have a strip across your the top of your blush. Anyway, that's what I did. I don't know how it looks, but that's how I did it. Um, last thing on my face, I used um, to keep everything in in order. There, I used my Stay Matte by Rimmel um, Long Lasting Pressed Powder, and it is in. Buff Beige, number 12. And I really like this stuff. Really like this a lot. Okay, for lipstick. Now, I have the caps mixed up, so I don't know which one is which. But I used this one from my Bite Beauty Double Ended 
that's what I'm wearing today. And then uh, the other side, one of them's called Fig. If I can figure out where my glasses are. I can put these on now, I guess. One of them's called Fig and one of them's called Date. And I think Fig is the darker one. Because here's the other one that's more of a nudie color. And I love both of them. Um, I wore one one to work yesterday. I, As you all know, as I say almost every week, I rotate my makeup every week. So um, all of the lipsticks that I have used go on my desk, out of my drawer. And then once I get them all used, then I will organize everything, and then I will do a video. Um, I'm getting rid of a few. I am just... I'm putting like my red stuff, like my work stuff that I can wear to work, like like this color I can wear to work. I just can't wear like my reds and my bright, bright pinks and stuff to work, you know. I just don't feel comfortable. I could. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. So um, I'm just organizing everything. All my blushes and everything I use front to back, and then I rotate them. Um, all my highlighters, I do the same thing. I rotate. So... And same thing with my eyeshadow palettes. That way I use everything. At least, you know, I use it once and then I wait till I'm done with everything else. Then I use it again. So I rotate everything. So anyway, um, that is it for my makeup of the day. Let me know if you'd rather me do a makeup get ready with me or do it the same way I I have been doing or would you rather me do it differently by explaining things differently or something just let me know and if you like this kind of thing please give me a thumbs up talk to you later bye bye